4.4 covers ratio and proportion. Okay, the first thing we want to do is define a ratio. A ratio is a quotient, remember that involves division. A quotient of two quantities that is used to compare the quantities. The ratio of a number A to the number B is written in any of the following ways. So A to B, A to B, those uh, whenever you have a, col a colon, A to B, and then A over B is also, when we're talking about it in ratio, is A to B. There are three ways to write ratios. Okay, so for example, when a ratio is in the form of A to B for the each word phrase, notice each example that the uh, number mentioned first is always the numerator. So the ratio of five to three hours is five over three. Now, in this example, we're saying that the ratio is five hours to three hours, so five to three. However, it, if we have a situation where, where we're comparing five hours to three days, well, we really don't have a five to three ratio anymore. In order for this to be written in a numerator and denominator basis, then the measurement points have to be really the same. In this case, there's hours and days, so they are not the same. So we have to convert them so that they are using the same measurement. So what we might do is take the three days and recognize that the three days can be converted to hours. How do we do that? We'll take three days times 24, three times 24, and that's gonna give us 72 hours. So the real ratio is not five to three, it's five to 72, five over 72. In the last example, the ratio of 700,000 in sales to 950,000 in sales is written as 700,000 over 950,000 or 700,000 to 950,000. Now you may want to reduce this just similarly to the, the way you would do this if this was a fraction. And so therefore, this ratio is equivalent to 14 over 19. Example two, writing ratios. Burger King sold the following items in a one hour period last Friday afternoon. 70 bacon cheeseburgers, 15 plain hamburgers, 30 salad combos, 45 chicken sandwiches, and 40 fish sandwiches. Now, since all of these were sold in one hour, then the measuring base is pretty much the same, so all we have to say it's per hour. So what is the ratio between and among these items? And that's just finding the numbers. So bacon cheeseburger to fish sandwiches, well, bacon cheeseburgers, 70, 72, fish sandwiches, 40, 70 to 40, so the ratio would be seven to four. So for every seven bacon cheeseburgers, we sold four fish sandwiches. Let's look at D, uh, fish sandwiches to total items sold. Well, fish sandwiches was 40, 40, and the total amount would mean we would have to add 70 plus 15 plus 30 plus 45 plus 40. That turns out to be 200, so it's 40 to 200. So for every one sandwich we sold, we sold a total of five items. Now we use this, the, the term proportion and a proportion is a ratio is used to compare two numbers or amounts. A proportion says that two ratios are equal as shown below. So three over four, or three to four is equal to 15 to five, or three quarters is equal to 15 twentieths. You can use what's called cross multiplication when you have a circumstance where you have two fractions on, on each side of the equation. So A over B or A to B is equal to C over D or C to D. So if this is true, 
then what you can do is cross multiply in order to um, solve something, maybe an unknown variable or come up with a, a better solution. So in other words, AD, A times D is gonna be equal to B times C. See the cross AD, B. Now it goes through and shows you how that works, but if you just remember the cross multiplication, you should be fine. AD is equal to BC, okay? So decide whether the following proportions are true. Well, that'll be easy. All we have to do is cross multiply. And if we come up with similar numbers, then it is true. So first of all, three fifths is equal to 12 twentieths, or three to five is equal to 12 to 20. If we solve for the, multi the cross multiplication, three times, three times 20 is 60. And then five times 12 is also 60. So we do the three times 20, that gives us 60. And then five times 12 is 60. So 60 equals 60. That is a true statement. This proportion is true. Two thirds to nine sixteenths, let's check it out. Two times 16 is gonna be 32. Three times nine is 27. So 32, is not equal, there's a line across that equal sign, is not equal to 27. Therefore, this proportion is not true. So if you have three to five equals x to 40, we don't know what x is. We can use cross multiplication to make it easier to solve for x. Three times 40 is gonna give us 120. Three times 40 is 120. 5 times x gives us 5x. So since we know we can do the cross multiplication and keep that equal sign in between, then we can place this in a way that is easier to resolve or easier to solve. 120 equals 5x. Now we'll go ahead and divide both sides by 5. And 120, 120 divided by 5 equals 24. Therefore, x is equal to 24. Moving on to looking at proportions and how we can solve for, for unknown variables. A food, example number five, a food wholesaler charges a restaurant chain $83 for three crates of lettuce. How much should, how much should it charge for five crates of lettuce? Well, crates to crates will equal cost to cost. Crates to crates will equal cost to cost. Three crates is $83. So let's go ahead and do that. Three crates, three crates is the numerator, $83. And then the next question is as well, how much should it charge for five crates of lettuce? Well, if we're gonna Charge in the same proportion, we'll put crates to crates. Well, we've got three to five crates equals $83 in cost to the unknown amount or what we want to solve for. Again, we do cross multiplication. So this is gonna give us three X, three times X, three X, five times 83, five times 83. That's gonna result in 415, so three X equals 415, we'll divide both sides by three. The solution is X equals $138.33. Example number six, a firm in Hong Kong and one in Thailand agree to jointly develop an engine controlled microchip to be sold to North American auto manufacturers. They agree to split the development costs in a ratio of eight to three, Hong Kong firm to Thailand firm, resulting in a cost of $9,400, $9,400,000 to the Hong Kong firm. Find the cost to the Thailand firm. Eight to three, we plug that in, eight to three. Eight is the Hong Kong cost, and they give us the Hong Kong cost of 9,400,000. So we'll show that at the 
we'll show that as the numerator. We'll put an X to represent the cost to Thailand. And now we can solve using cross multiplication. 8X equals three times 9,400,000. 8x equals 3 times 9,400,000. So 8x equals 28,200,000. Divide both sides by 8. And x will be equal to $3,525,000. James McIntosh wants to cut down a tree in his front yard, but he's worried about it falling into his garage. Well, that's a good concern. You don't want to cut something and ends up damaging something else. He needs to know the height of the tree. Well, but when you have a tree this tall and you're only, actually, he's pretty tall at six foot. <laughs> that's almost average height. Not for me. But he's only six foot and this is obviously much larger. Can he, can he figure out a way to judge how tall the tree is. Well, here's what we can do. He can measure his own shadow. This is, this is good thinking. This is a way that often problems are solved in a lot of different areas, but particularly in business. He says, well, you know, if I'm six foot, all I have to do is measure my shadow. And then I can find the proportion of the shadow to how tall I am. So for example, he knows he's six foot high, he's six foot tall, and he casts a shadow of eight foot. He can measure that, mark, mark it. Might be a little bit, if you've got a tape measure, you gotta make sure you have that little clip there so you can hold it out, but it can be done. You guys I'm sure can see that happening. So he measures, it's exactly eight feet. By the way, you better be pretty precise here because if you miss this, you could make a bad decision. So he'll write the proportion or the ratio of six feet to eight feet, six feet to eight feet. He is six foot and the shadow is eight feet or eight feet or an eight foot shadow, it's eight feet, okay, six to eight. Now, we don't know how tall the tree is, so we're gonna use that as X, but we can measure its shadow. The shadow is, in this example here, 34, 34 foot shadow. So unknown how tall the tree is, but we do know that it's casting a shadow of 34 feet. Therefore, knowing proportionalities and how this works, we can solve for the unknown variable. In other words, we can solve for how tall the tree really is. And we'll do that using cross multiplication. 8x equals 6 times 34, or 6 times 34 is equal to 8x. 6 times 34 is 204. We'll divide both sides by 8. So 204 divided by 8. X is equal to 25.5 feet. Okay, and that concludes chapter 4.